Day, day two. It is February 4th, I think. <laughs> I can't even keep track. Uh, I'm pretty sure. It might be the fifth. I don't know. But it is a Sunday, and <clears throat> I tried to get a lot of sleep last night because today's money making day in the world of this is not content creation, this is media or something. It is I am an MC for day two on the top of a mountain, little old powder mountain, which is now apparently owned by the CEO of Netflix in our little Ogden town. <clears throat> we'll see how that goes over, hopefully really well. Anywho, skis, there's a junior free ride comp and uh it's great. So, all my stuff's in the car. Speaker, well, not all of it. Some of it's on the mountain from last night. And then, but speakers are in here. My backpack full of with a mixer and mics, cables, um, my computer. That stuff I didn't want to leave on the mountain. So, I came home with me last night. And then I have a bag that is just full of because I have no idea if it's going to be freezing cold or what. So, extra jackets, coats, a pad to sit on, because I have a chair up there, but we put the pad on the chair. So, what I want to talk about today was how much should you charge for these things? So, it's a pretty unique event. It's a unique skill set. There's not a lot of people around here who are willing to haul all their equipment, um, MC equipment, Includes you know, speakers, speaker stands, mixer, computer, cables, mics, uh, table chairs, to, to the top of a mountain, expose them to the elements. It was snowing yesterday. It smelled pretty good for a hot minute. And then, you know, so a lot of snow got in all the stuff. Okay, so there's all that. And then, and then let's see, I left my house yesterday at 7.30 and I got home at like... 5.30 something like that the event itself the emceeing of the event I mean we got up there to set up it was like 9 ish um, and it started at 10.45 and it ran until 3 I think so let's see this is still 11 12, 1, 2, 3, so 4 hours so Normally I charge like a hundred bucks an hour. Like if I'm going to do, um, if I'm going to do podcasting, editing work, you know, photographer, so charge two hundred an hour. Some, I mean, it's, it all varies. Uh, DJs, I've some local DJs around here. They won't do a gig less than six hundred bucks, like, and it's like a you know an hour set or three hour set. I don't know, but it's six hundred. So. This one I priced at 500 a day, 500 yesterday, 500 today, and uh, <laughs> there was pushback that it was a lot of money, which is fine because the the people putting it on is a nonprofit, and and so that's where it's like, okay, well I need to make the money, you know, I, I got to make the money, but also I can't undersell myself all the time. There's no way, and. Um, so I took like a hundred bucks an hour and I kind of gave a discount on top of that and came up with 500 because if it was a hundred bucks an hour, it'd be closer to six, seven, eight hundred dollar a day. To be honest, it should really be a thousand dollar a day. Like if I'm in a bigger town, with bigger money, that's a thousand bucks. Easy, right? Right? I mean, I don't know. What do you, what do you people, what do you, uh, MCs, live event MCs. Oh, because not only that, am I playing a good music? Uh, compilation list that I made, like a really good one, because it's like one skill I have. Um, just, to, just to put a list together of pretty good music that the kids will like and the adults don't hate, you know? You gotta put together, you gotta curate a list, the kids will groove to, the, the, the parents every once in a while like a few songs, the kids are happy, because it's the, the event is about the kids. And then you gotta make announcements and not be annoying, because there's announcers out there and some of them are really annoying. And so that is a skill set that is unique. It's worth paying, getting paid for. So that is how 
this camera phone situation in the car is not good. Uh, but that's how I'm making money today. So, but this is not, this does not count towards my, I think, if you missed the initial video yesterday, um, I'm, I run this media company called Banning Collective, and we have multiple podcasts that we produce. We have some that are ours that are for entertainment that we need to get sponsorships for, and then we get paid to produce some podcasts for some, some clients. And I have to increase our revenue into the business by $3,500 within the next, and I didn't set a hard date, and that's number one rule on goal setting, so I should probably set it by, uh, not the end of February, but by the end of March, so by April, March, April, so by April 1, April Fool's, huh, uh, 3500 additional revenue into the business, now we don't, to give you an idea, I think the revenue, the revenue coming into the business right now is only like two grand, it's not like this is, it's not like we rake in hundred thousand dollars a month and I gotta add an additional thirty five hundred. No, I gotta more than double the revenue that comes in. Uh we're, we're like twenty five, maybe we're closer to three thousand right now. We might be closer to three thousand right now. I can get hard numbers. Um because I think it's useful for people who are just starting out. That's the whole idea of this series is to just help people who are starting out who want to make a living as a podcast producer, um, as a creative in the in media arts. This hopefully helps you understand, uh, one, <laughs> there's people who struggle. <laughs> it's not easy. Uh, the only way I'm able to do this because is because I worked a job at J-O-B for a while where I made enough that I put some money in the bank and saved. And that money is dwindling quickly. And that is why I've got to replace... Um, I, have to, I have to bring home at least, at least, like... 3000 3500 and really it's four grand a month just to sort of cover the, the bills and not have to, to panic. And so bring another 3500 into the business um, will allow will allow that to happen, and I need to do it before I run out of money, which is very soon. Therein lies this struggle. But today's money, which is the 500 that's cool. That's a bonus, but that is... Uh, you know, it's, I, I do it this weekend and next weekend, so I'm actually making two grand this month with just the MC. That's fantastic. I have another MC gig in March, but that does not go... But then, in April, it's over. So, then April, like, uh, you know, I, it, that money goes away. So, so that money... That's why I'm not counting these. This is more like side, side hustles. These do not count towards the 3500 a month that I have to have coming into the business. That is going to be... Uh, you know, memberships would be cool. We don't really push that or have that. I mean, we do, but, you know, buymeacoffee.com. Uh, I don't know if it's under the banding collective or what, but it's, we got, like, my wife and somebody else that helps us. Just shout to Adam, Adam, who helps us. Uh, like, 25 bucks a month. So, I mean, that's an option, but we don't push it because the level's there. We, we just haven't pushed it. I thought about uh, Patreon, but anyway, so the memberships things, I don't know about. It, it should be easier for us to gain sponsorships and uh, production work. Sponsorships and production work. So if I can get, I really like to get two thousand sponsorships a month, and um, I'll have to share the numbers. That was a really nice defender. Um, I have to share the numbers with y'all on our download so that everyone understands where that two thousand is coming from. Why I think we should be able to get that. We've had a thousand. We had a thousand dollar client drop off. So if I just replace that thousand dollars, I want a thousand dollar. Sponsors, then okay, so that thousand's back. So I do have a head start on that. Now that's a very important message because that first that first uh, sponsor is money. That first sponsor allows you money. <laughs> okay, that first sponsor allows you to to then go to sponsor number two with credibility, especially if it's someone in your town that's not. Um, you know, that that is of that people know. You know, it's not a, it's not such a small business that um, they're like, who is that? I don't even understand who um, Jane's uh, blow drying services are. <laughs> that's, the, that's the wildest thing. Uh, like, I don't know what that is. Uh, but ours was a local beer sponsor, a local brewery in town, and so that was great. Um, and we had, uh, mind you, we've been at this for a long time. Um, and so for those of you starting out. 
uh, I do have shortcuts for you. But we'd been at this for a long time, had a good relationship with this brewery for a long time. They paused for the winter because it's a slow time for them. Get it, but I, but we can't stop. We have to have another spot. We I gotta I gotta replace that income now. So um, I gotta replace that. It was a thousand bucks, by the way, and that's I'm finding was high, <laughs> which I don't think it's high, but being told that was high. Um, anyway, I'll, we'll hit those numbers later. However, replace that thousand, get another thousand or two five hundreds, and then and then get. Grow our, our production work, and we should be there to the 3500 by April 1st. Okay, so it's in this video 3500 by April 1st, 3500 by April 1st. That's the deal of new revenue coming into the Banyan Collective. Follow along, kids. I'm old enough to keep us. Follow along, kids, to see if if I have to get a job in April. Oh, god, that's not what we need to be doing. Um, so please subscribe, tell a friend, tell a struggling uh, content creator, MC, live event, MC, podcaster, to follow along, you know, oh, you're not the only, you're not alone out there, this is not an easy gig, anyway, maybe I'll chat with you on the back, on the way back down from the mountain, if I come up with anything interesting, I'd like to provide value in these, these updates, obviously, to keep people tuned in, but I this is something I would look for right now. I would, I would try and find someone who's starting a business. Like, let me follow them on the daily to see what they're doing, what their day looks like, um, so that I can maybe get some ideas on on succeeding. And so, I, I am planning on sharing numbers. I, I want <laughs> I want people to understand the numbers that our views, downloads and stuff because we are not huge. We're not huge, but we're but we're growing quickly and we're we've been around a long time and that helps. So there, if you're new starting out podcasting, it's tough, man. It's tough because gaining an audience is really, really hard. Obviously consistency is the number one thing. If it's once a week, pick that same day every week, same day, time, publish on that day and time every week. That's the move, right? I mean everybody should know this but it is not easy. We sucked at it for years. So I've known that for 10 years and we've, we're still struggle at it. So any tips you have on that consistency, publishing, uh, being consistent with that, we've got a lot better. Our van sessions, which is one of our shows, go find van sessions pod on YouTube, van sessions pod on YouTube. Uh, it's, it's a music podcast series that we do. Uh, we record that one live, but that one I, we put those videos out every weeknight at 7 p.m. We're very consistent with that one because we have to be because it's just so much content. But our other shows has wavered, and I've, I've finally landed on, and it's been, we've been doing the show forever, but Ogden Arts and Adventure Show, and that's Thursdays at 3, Ogden Arts and Adventure on YouTube. You can see the follower, the subscription, the sub count on that is much lower than band sessions. I think we're at 107, 108, 111, or something like that on Ogden Arts and Adventure, but we're at 7 57, 760 almost, I think, for van sessions, and that's the one that it would be interesting to see if that ever ever brings in a dime from YouTube. But uh, I'll share that cash with you. All that all those twelve dollars. Do they send you twelve dollars or do they wait until it's like a hundred bucks or something? I have no idea. Okay, cheers, toodles. I was talkative this morning. I'll see you.